Order the December 18th, 2014 regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District. Start with roll call. Dave Nelson. Here. Carly Anderson. Here. Ben Grico. Here. Ben Viola. Here. Jeff Garrison. Here. Ron Absence. And then um, this, this is the approval of the November 20th, 2014 budget workshop. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Second, any errors or omissions? None. All in favor of approval? Next, the approval of the November 20th, 2014 regular monthly meeting. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Errors or omissions on that? One. Uh, on page three, the last uh, last sentence on the page, um, it says the trustees voted to pass the original motion on a vote of seven yeas and no nays. I think that should read the trustees voted to pass the original motion as amended on a vote of seven yeas and no nays. A uh, couple more that I went over with Wendy, uh, to St. Bridget doesn't have it in it. Okay. And Rob McSorley needs an L on custody from it. Okay. Any, any, anything else? To just, uh, all in favor of approval. Turn it over to Dave for the Superintendent and Operations Report. Thank you. Um, copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of November is included in your packet. Our average F1 flow for the month was 1.27 million gallons a day. Our F1 quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95% BOD removal and 95% total suspended solids removal. Uh, for the month, F1 concentration. 13 milligrams per liter and 12 milligrams per liter. Copy of the pump station proposed for the month of November is also included in the packet. Okay. Last month at the budget workshop, a discussion developed around what our target for our year end checking account cash balance should be. Part of the discussion suggested that a three month cash reserve might be a good target on review of our typical three month cash expenditure. Excluding debt is about $300,000. Bond payments vary, but our highest bond payment last year was $427,000. This information in fact, we also have a debt retirement reserve account with approximately $500,000. $300,000 Excuse target. me, Mr. Yes. Chairman, I'm going to just see if I can ask them to turn that down. I can't hear what Dave saying with this meeting. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Do you want me to uh, try it again, Charlie? Or? No, just carry on from where you're at. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it together. Uh, the Thanksgiving snowstorm caused several power outages at both the plant and the pump station. Um, although we did not have any operational issues other than loss of power, uh, we did lose the phone lines at the plant for more than 24 hours. The significance of this is without the phone lines, alarms are not transmitted out of the plant to the on-call operator. Uh, as part of the plan skid upgrades for uh, this coming year, we'll be looking into alternatives including cellular to prevent such a loss of communication. On Thursday, December 4th, uh, Mike Clark from Maine DEP conducted our annual inspection of the composting operation. Everything was in order and no issues were identified. We did have one odor complaint this past month. Um, uh, in the Higgins Beach Road next area on December 1st, Alan Atkins uh, called to complain about a pervasive odor in and around the Higgins Beach and Proud's neck area, um, quite a large area. Um, dispatch was call, called the on-call operator who responded. Another, there was an odor around the plant. He wasn't convinced that the odor was due to the plant operations. 
the river was also being dredged, so uh, that may have been the source or part of the source. Even so, the on-call operator did make some operational changes to the compost operation. The odor was gone in the morning. I did call and speak with uh, Mr. Atkins on the second. Um, let's see, the couple other items. The uh, Southern Maine chemical um, bids came in. We're a part of a, an association of a group of uh, plant operators where we pulled together our chemical bids in those uh, a bid came in, and the results actually are very good. They're um, equal to or a little, uh, a little less than what we were spending last year. And finally, um, Alpine Pump Station um, just today actually uh, received some vandalism where um, uh, graffiti was painted over the pump station, the generator, and the uh, propane. They called it. The police who came and took some pictures and we were That's all I have for the operation. Thanks, Dave. Question? I have a question. Uh, I'd like to request at some point in the future um, that we have a discussion about investment options for our cash balances. Um, you know, with some of the market changes lately, I think we should look into what are the conservative investment options for a short term to maybe leverage a little bit higher interest rates on them. Just so we can explore what those options are. Other questions? Mm -hmm. On to the next item, which is correspondent. Chapter 530 certification. As required, as submitted to the QDEP, the annual chapter 530 certification form, the form is utilized to identify any significant changes to our flow or operation that may increase our, the toxicity of our discharge. As shown on the form, we have had no such changes. We have a couple other items from the um, correspondence I'd like to put um, This past week, I did get a, uh, the resignation of one of our longtime uh, operators Howard Littlefield after 28 and a half years he will be he has turned in his resignation will be uh, retiring after the first of the year and um, I'll give you a copy of that but his letter of resignation uh, and another item that has uh, just came before us is we did get the copy of the uh, letter agreement with Ballet and Associates who will be conducting our annual audit um, in the near future. Uh, this is the same firm that has done it in the past, and as you recall, last year they actually did a nice presentation on front of the board. And finally, today I got a, a, issue, a copy of the final uh, main D, uh, NPDES permit so that has been finalized as of yesterday's date. We're now operating under the new permit. Questions on the correspondent? First item is 700 Gallery Boulevard. On behalf of Waterstone Scarborough LLC, Sinclair Associates is requesting district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from the proposed development from 700 Gallery, Bo Gallery <coughs> Boulevard. The proposed development will com be comprised of three buildings containing a total of approximately uh, 113,000 square feet, a main anchor retail building containing approximately 106,000 square feet, a separate smaller retail building containing 2,200 square feet, and the third building is proposed as an, as an approximately um, 4,800 square feet sit-down restaurant. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The average daily flows for each facility is presented uh, below any future flows in excess of these flows are subject to additional approvals. Uh, the large retail facility at 9,041 gallons per day, the smaller retail facility at 191 gallons per day, and the restaurant at 5,182 gallons per day for a total of 14,414 gallons per day. Uh, the lot is within the Eight Corners service area on October 26, 2006. The trustees approved this lot for a total flow of 10,800 gallons per day. 
Consequently, the 3,614 gallons per day flow above the prior approval is subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $14.43 uh, per gallon per day, and it's adjusted monthly based on the engineering construction cost index. Based on the current ENR, the total capacity reserve fee due for the additional 3,014 gallons per day capacity is $3,000. $155.56. Uh, the capacity reserve fee is due by the issuance of the uh, sewer permit. Any additional wastewater flow in excess of the approved flows are subject to additional approval of the capacity reserve fees. All sewer services shall have projectable underground utility parking date placed approximately 15 grade directly above the pipe. Increased trap shall be installed and maintained in accordance with district policy. Both food service shall be allowed within either of the retail buildings without getting prior approval from the district. Final plan signed and stamped by licensed professional engineers is made for approval prior to the permit. Two permits are required for each building and complete application associated with the fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to the permit being executed, no sites to a work shall be uh, the installation of the shall be inspected through the district. Record drawings, professionally surveyed, your reference, um, uh, CAD drawings, and a stamped paper copy to this, uh, be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman, of the caveats attached. Second. Approval in a second. Any questions? Just a couple. Yep. Um, Originally, there was a service stub laid out for this lot. There's going to be new. There's going to be one new connection or two new connections. Two new connections. Are those? Are those? Um, from what I saw, they were going into manhole structures. One's going into a manhole structure that happens to be directly across from it. Yeah. Is, one's going into, into the line. So, is it going to be like an inserted T type of installation into the line? Um, is that manhole structure going in at the on the table in the invert? Is that all going to be rebricked, or how is that? How is drop. that? It's going to be a drop manhole, and that manhole is sized adequately so they can do a drop of that type. Okay, uh, that was it. Uh, look, plan, plans are great. The only one exception I have, and I brought this up on many occasions, is. Uh, where a sanitary line goes under a stormwater pond. Um, just do not think that is a good application. Um, and I would prefer to see her revisioned, uh, but uh, that line does not go under a any type of treatment facility. I understand that it's private past the property line, um, but it still goes into our system. Um, maybe we should move the sampling manhole over to the property line and then reconfigure it so that we don't go into the stormwater facility. That, that's the uh, line coming out of the large rebuilt facility? Correct. Yeah. Correct. I'll work with... Other than that, I don't have a problem. I'll work with uh, uh, Claire Associates on that. I'm sure they can fix it. Nick, I'm just curious, what size interceptor are we expecting for the restaurant? I don't know. I'll have to see the, uh, the, the, the full rates. The full rates and what they're actually planning on doing. Okay. Just curious. Yeah. Any idea what the restaurant's going to be? Any other question? No. In favor of approval? On adoption of the 2015, I'm sorry. I thought somebody spoke up. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> adoption of the 2015 budget. Move uh, Mr. Chairman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Move approval of the 2015 is completed your packet. After last month's budget workshop, I did add back into the budget the $400 for the generator fil filters that was inadvertently left out of the materials and supplies and equipment line item. Overall, the proposed budget reflects a total increase before capital expenditures of 
2014 budget would translate to a 2.36% increase. The operating budget, including capital expenses, is funding, funded from the operating revenues is up $116,615 uh, from the 2014 budget, an increase of 3.74%. This includes the replacement of two trucks and a slip pump. The total budget, including capital expenses funded outside of the operation budget, is uh, $3,443,590, up $237,650 from the 2014 budget. I recommend the approval. Now I'll make the motion. Thanks, Nick. We have a motion. Seconded. Second. Questions on the budget? Uh, go ahead, Ron. Uh, just a quick question for David. Um, under the fixed asset replacement, where we've increased quite a bit, that was in the projected long-term budget you had done. Yes, it was. Right? I, guess, I, I, I was trying to find that on my computer. I couldn't. That was the only thing I just wanted to check. Out. Charlie. Yeah, just just a note. I think um, uh, we had we had one utility. Uh, account for power that was up $25,000 based on the projected rate increases from central main power and uh, and I think if you adjust that out the net increase on the budget compensating for that would be 1.6 percent would it should actually be below the cost of living index um, so uh, I think it's a very responsible budget. I think the staff did a great job pulling it together, and I think they met our, uh, uh, met our objectives in doing that. So I would certainly support the adoption of the budget. Sean, any other questions, comments? Okay, thank you. Next item, we are going to recess to executive session for a personal matter for Title I, Section 405 MRSA. We'll be back with you shortly. Going downstairs. That's right, one, right? Yes, let me I can go check to see if we want to I thought you were going to stand this up tonight. What's that? I thought you were going to stand us up No, tonight. no, no, no. I'm never here before you. I was cursing David because he, he locked his form and I couldn't rip off the pages of the evaluation. I locked the form? Yeah. I I was going to do it at work after after work and fill it out. Oh, oh yeah. And so I took the PDF and I tried to rip out the...
I guess we're on. There you go. Good, Good evening again, everybody. We have uh, returned from recess from our executive session and are uh, moving on with our regular monthly meeting. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, adjust the superintendent's salary, increase it by 2.8%, which will consist of Kohler adjustment and the merit adjustment. Seconded. Motion and a second. Any questions? Huh? All in favor? None opposed. Last item here on under new business is the 11th month budget summary. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Questions about the budget? Huh? All in favor of approval? None opposed? Next item is public comments. The public has left the building this evening. <laughs> Trustee comments. I'll start to my right with Charlie. Um, our next meeting is next year, so I guess I'd wish everybody a happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, um, happy holidays, and happy new year. Um, I'd like to uh, congratulate Howard Littlefield. We had talked about receiving his letter of resignation, but he's actually retiring from the district after 28 years. Uh, and so I just want to wish him well and thank him for his uh, service to the district. Thank you, Charlie. Rob? I'd like to mar mirror Charlie's comments, especially about Howard. Such a nice guy, and uh, he's definitely going to be missed. And uh, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays to everybody. See you next year. Dave? I uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And Howard, uh, he will be missed, there's no question on that. Uh, I hope he enjoys his retirement. I understand he's going south to warmer climb for a while. Uh, wish him well. And that take care of him. Seth? I'd like to congratulate Dave and the rest of the staff for another <coughs> successful year. Excellent budget, um, excellent results this year with the EP especially. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. Thanks, sir. Nick? Okay, first, good job to Phil, keeping the composting operations in tip-top shape, said by the inspector. Um, good luck to Howard in his retirement. He will be missed. Uh, good job, Howard. Thanks for your 28 years of service. Um, good job to Dave and the staff for coming up with a wonderful budget and another wonderful year. Um, and uh, I want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah and a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Nick. Ben. Uh, happy holidays, everyone. Uh, Howard, thanks for your 28 years and uh, good luck in retirement. Look forward to a <coughs> 2015. Thanks. I guess that leaves me. Again, uh, big thanks to Howard and congratulations on his retirement. He will certainly be missed down there. And uh, obviously, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Happy holidays. I would like to extend my condolences out to the Hunt family, formerly of Scarborough, on the passing of Charlie Hunt. Uh, Charlie was well known in the community and served uh, served the community very well for many years at the Public Works Department and uh, my condolences go out to his family. And with that, I would entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All those in favor of adjournment? We're adjourned. Thank you. Well, the way that